Right, when you are, um, one of the problems from the mix review stuff is finding LCDs. And so I want to show you how to do this using your TI-89. Hey, what does LCD mean? Yeah. Least common denominator. All right, so uh, what I want to do is kind of talk through if you're given a problem in which you're asked to find the least common denominator between a certain set of fractions, how would you go about uh, using your calculator to do that? The calculator doesn't have specifically an LCD button, but it does have an LCM. Alright, so the LCM is the button that, or the command that you're going to use that's most similar to the LCD. So all you're going to need to do is kind of, um, you need to plan just a little bit ahead for this. In that, uh, since LCD is dealing with fractions, just take the denominator itself and use that as the LCM term that you're uh, working with. And so let's say you wanted to find, um, let's say you had these two... Let's say you have these two fractions and you want to find what's the least common denominator between these two. Right. In order to do that, what you're going to need to do is, again, just isolate the denominators. Okay, so that's all we're working with right here to find the LCD. And the command for finding the least common multiple in the TI-89 is LCM. And then the formatting is you can only find LCMs between pairs. It doesn't allow you to find it if there's more than just two. Now, there's a workaround for that, but it's a very specific workaround, and I'll talk through it here in just a second. Okay, but if you're finding the LCM now, the LCD between these two fractions, what you're going to do is locate LCM. It's located in the following. If you hit the second button, and then you go to this math catalog that's above the number five. Okay, so second, math. It opens up this catalog of math uh, functions. Under the very first one, so number. So just click to the right of that, and then you can scroll up or down. I know that it's way down at the very bottom, but I'm gonna find that it says LCM. Okay, and when I hit that button, it begins my command. And now, if I know this, rather than go through all of these steps here to find LCM, you can just alpha lock your calculator and type it. Or if you're using the one on the computer, just type LCM parentheses. And it's much quicker to do it that way. Okay, so again, what I would do if I clear this is I would alpha lock my calculator and just type in LCM deselect the alpha lock, click on parentheses. I get the, the same thing and it's, it's a little bit quicker in my opinion. All right, and then you're going to enter the two, two terms that you're finding the LCM. And remember, you can only use pairs for this. So with these two, I can type in 12 comma 10, close it off, hit enter, and I find my LCD. My least common denominator for these is going to be 60. Now, if you were combining these, or if you're combining these fractions, you would need to convert each of those fractions into the same LCD factor, so into 60ths. But again, you don't have to do that by hand here. This is just to find the, the LCD. All right, so what's going to happen if I give you a problem where I'm asking you to find the LCD of more than two? terms. And like I said, there's a workaround and it's it's straightforward and it fi still fits into the pattern of uh, this style or this method of finding LCDs with your calculator. And so let's say here's the problem that I give you. Find the LCD of uh, one half, two thirds, and three fourths. 
Right, since you can only do pairs in your LCM command, what you're going to have to do on this in order to get a total of three is you're going to have to embed a pair into a different pair. So what that means is if I took my LCM, so I can only do two values, right? One and two. So in order for me to accommodate three different terms, I need to embed the second and third together inside as a single unit. And the way that you do that is just to use embed the LCM again. And so really what you're going to wind up doing here to solve this is you type in LCM. And remember, we're only using oops, the denominators of these. So we're going to use a 2, a 3, and a 4. And I'm just going to type this in. Again, no spaces or anything. So if I type in, I'm going to use what I already have written up here. So I have LCM of 2, comma, and then LCM again. So I'm going to alpha lock. Type that in. LCM, deselect, parentheses. I'm going to type 3, comma, 4. I'm closing the... Um, I'm closing the LCD for that. Okay, I can close a second time. And when I do, I find my solution to be 12. Okay, so the least common denominator between about 1 half, 2 thirds, and 3 fourths is a 12. And now there's a really easy way to do this by hand, too, if all you're dealing with is numbers. I wanted to show you how to use the calculator for it, but it, it winds up in this case being easier, and I'll go through both of them uh, to show you. But uh, easiest thing to do if you're finding the LCD by hand is take the largest number that you have in your denominator. So in the top case, it's a 12. Okay, and then just find multiples of that number until you happen to find a multiple of the other ones as well. So let's start with 12. So 12 is not a multiple of 10. Double it. Is 24 a multiple of 10? No, triple it. Is 36 a multiple of 10? No, multiply by 4. Is 48 a multiple of 10? No, by 5. Is 60 a multiple of 10? Yes, so that is our LCD. Okay, the same is, is true down here. If we wanted to test this here, start with your largest number, which is 4, and then just find, is 4 a multiple of 2? Yeah, is it a multiple of 3? No, so double it. 8. Is 8 a multiple of 2? Yes, is 8 a multiple of 3? Nope, so that's not it. Triple it. 12. Is 12 a multiple of 2? Is 12 a multiple of 3? Yes, and so that's how you would get your 12. So you can do it either way. Um, I just want you, again, to try to be as familiar with the calculators as possible.